Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Chimera Squad. My name is Saik and we're playing uh, Impossible Iron Man Hardcore, hardest difficulty, one save game and if a single mission fails, it's game over. Today we're going to look at the infiltration of the progeny, uh, uh, progeny stronghold where we are running up um, the uh, next uh, important storyline mission uh, to find out where she essentially hides out and we're going to send our prime team uh, right there I think we got en enough healing one topic that I'm wondering is should we get should we get a, he a med kit onto him no, probably not Verge is fine good Verge and Terminal already had her, uh, their training, so that's very helpful. They will have a lot of hit points. Um, Blue Blood and Shelter didn't have theirs yet, but we're going to be fine. We do have three projected encounters. It's a bit a uh, shame because without uh, the Phalanx, we're going to take some damage. Uh, but be it as it may, overall we should be fine. Let's get going, guys. to the progeny. Now, we didn't know how sympathetic until tonight. They're testing prototype psionic tech inside. Can we, as a society, agree to move past new ways to vivisect each other's minds? Time for some breaching. So we could go um, at a secure entrance, lesser amount of um, enemies right here. Last unit will receive an extra action point, which I absolutely love. Uh, so we're going to take uh, Blue Blood here. For the main entrance, I think we're going with Verge. And with Shelter. I would like to take that route here first. That way, Verge can act as the very first. All right, here we go. So we got two potential enemies that are taking shots at us. Um, and it's pretty simple. Let's levitate one of them, negating the threat entirely. And disorient everyone, which is even better. Perfect. Breach fire. Let's get the Arcolite. Good. He's unconscious. Everyone else is disoriented. Lots of sectors here. Good. First of uh, three encounters. We're taking out the Arcolite still. Did he just resist it? I am surprised how high 14% as a chance are. Let's kill the Thrall. <laughs> okay. Not our best mission so far. Could go for the Thrall, could go for the Arcolite. I actually like uh, the idea with the Arcolite better. Yeah, let's try to kill him. And there we go with Soulfire. By the way, you can see how much difference the basic training makes. Uh, I mean, Blue Blood is a bit more squishy per default, so that's true, but generally speaking. Okay. 
All right, shelter is rooted. Too bad, I wanted to um, exchange shelter with uh, blue blood. And that way he's in safety. But unfortunately we can't move. So all we can really do is attack someone. We could take that thrall here. Trading places. And that way we can take out the thrall over here, who's currently at number two in the initiative. There we go. That makes uh, that ensures uh, that uh, blue blood wasn't being hit again. Let's get your insides back inside. Just what I needed. Perfect, lovely. It's good. Blue Blood is back in action. 40% against that Arcolite. Well, that's not really good. I'll rather take the 60% shot. Although it only deals a few points of damage. Fifty-fifty against the Arcolite is fine. Perfect. Uh, that took him out. I like it. And let's go with the revenant as uh, resonant as well. Didn't work. At least not as I was expecting it. And we got to heal up. That's for sure. Give me your Taking out the thrall. Only stunned for one round. That is unfortunate, which means he's not taken out. So I need to take him down. Moving up. Still saving the med kit. Oh yeah, I forgot resonance when they are dying. They can cause panic. In this case, it was to their disadvantage. But it is indeed a problem. So... If we were to push him down... We can mind control him and get another and get another round. Good to go. Reload. Overwatch. The reason why I want an additional round is I need to heal up. Well, I want to heal up to make sure that we can enter the next encounter without any problems. What the heck is going on? Apparently car explosions to this very day cannot be rendered by the Unreal Engine properly. Okay, so... Let's move up here and try to take out that thrall. Unfortunately just a normal stun. But since he missed, we reach our target anyways, which is simply to heal up. The cool part about Terminal is uh, you can really uh, make sure that everyone's topped before the next uh, mission starts. Uh, we're reloading because I want to um, knock him unconscious. And she didn't have Trank rounds. Good. You kicked the psionic hornet's nest. They weren't expecting company. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Let's go. Breach mode. Okay. First through this entrance is guaranteed to land their shot. 
uh, first through the sentence will have their weapon disabled. Who would have the least problem with uh, having their weapon disabled? Yeah, to be honest, it's probably shelter because we can just reload and shoot from wherever we are. Uh, losing his special ability is not the end of the world. Let's do this. All right, a guaranteed hit. Whom are we picking? Arcolite there. Resonant there. Thraw there. We're starting with the Arcolite. Very nice. Arcolite down. Thrall next, and the Thrall is down. Very good. Cytomane is a problem. There is another Arcolite, uh, and that means we're going to take a lot of damage. Hmm, do I want to use the team up? I think we can manage without it. I want to save it for the third encounter. I'm reloading. Well, albeit uh, the Arcolite will deal a lot of damage. That's four points of damage. And then we do have a Thrall and that doesn't really matter. But the Arcolite is a problem. Now let's go and take blue blood. Okay, so first we do have an option to hit a guy over there. I think we should take. Holy shit, what's wrong with the... Uh, what's wrong with the explosions? And secondly, let's subdue uh, this guy. Plus, by doing so, we do have the Vigilant trait. For the very first time, it triggered. So I can... That's actually tactically pretty interesting. If I can finish the turn with him taking a melee attack, that means we'll get another attack for free just on top of it. It's pretty damn good. Yeah, we're staying in full cover here. I like it. Oh, that's a spicy option. Not going to take that yet. Instead, let's just take out the throne. It's probably going to die because he is an asset. Nope, I'm wrong. He's just staying there. Only stun for one turn. I was hoping for more, to be honest. Yeah, let's just take the secure kill. That's fine.
Okay, one resonant starts healing. And we're taking some damage. Well, that was to be expected, to be honest. Once you stop controlling them, things are getting out of hand. We definitely need to take the content here this um, somewhere during the turn. Yeah, it's not the most intelligent. I, I was thinking about essentially uh, trading for any of the resonance in the back and then doing a play that way. But this cover position is pretty damn good against everyone. So I would have hurt our position more than it would have hurt them. So might as well just take down the throw. Easy. Seventy percent shot did not hit. Stepping out. This here will be Overwatch, and we're getting the extra loot. Let the high tech spray do its work. Getting Verge back up. If we were to push someone out, uh, that wouldn't be too bad. Actually, considering this, I know what I'm going to do. That your thoughts. Perfect. So this guy is um, out of charge which means we can definitely heal up in the meantime we can just clean house good second counter is working very well Yeah, I would reload for now and simply prepare for the next turn. Might as well step up here. I need a better angle. If they move, I'll shoot. That's reassuring. Good. We finally uh, can heal shelter up. And we should be fine overall. Now that everyone's full again, the second encounter is done. We just knock out uh, the door. Ammunition restored. I think I'm running low. Good. So, two out of three. Let's rock, guys. One more. I have no eyes on the next room, so expect heavy resistance. They won't give up their toys easily. I can feel a psionic signal. It is muffled somehow. Powerful, but made to seem faint. Well, well, well. So, all non-aggressive enemies uh, guarding this entrance are uh, surprised. I like that. Enemies steal minus one during the breach. 
all units get plus 25 defense for one round so i don't see a reason why we would actually go um, through the other um, way meta effect let's take uh, let's take the central entrance good got a throttle over there ooh codex interesting and another thrall over there let's just take him out with levitation Meantime, we're focusing on the other thrall. Uh, let's take the Arcolite, who, in my perspective, is more dangerous than the thrall. And what is wrong with the explosions here? Holy shit. Good, the Arcolite is almost down. Correction, the Arcolite is down. Perfect. I would agree. Let's take it off their hands. So whom do we have? We got an Arcolite over here who definitely needs to die. Another Arcolite over here. So that's two. A Codex. Codex is bad news. We need to deal with uh, that one sooner than later. They have um, the ability to uh, still do their bomb. And boy oh boy, you don't want to deal with, uh, with a Psy bomb. It essentially would uh, require us everyone to move. Yeah, let's prime this Arcolite. I want to definitely kill him. Can't really do anything about soul fire, just happens. Just need to make sure that we keep the upper hand. Yeah, as much as I want to do the pin, it's just so much better to kill the Arcolite. Feel that that's going to really help us. Okay, let's play an aggressive turn. I think that that's the right uh, decision. So what we're going to do is we're flashbanging. What? Can't flashbang through the door. This is XCOM. Solid objects are not supposed to block flashbangs. Doors are optional. Well, given the situation, let's take out both of them. They're going to feel that. Good. And now... Well, that's two to three. That's not good enough. Wanted to make sure that he dies, not 50-50. It has hunkered down, which is a problem. Can still move uh, so that we would get an overwatch. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Um, damn. Let's take a normal shot and then we're moving and overwatching. Very low chance to hit it. But the overwatch here, first of all, we're spread out, which is great. The overwatch, um, unless it teleports, in which case overwatch will not help us. 
but in every other scenario we should be fine. Oh, and let's get the prototype. Yep, there we go. Weapons disabled. Too bad. But what we can do, and that's the beautiful part about it is, thanks to our relocation, we can put anyone with into the zone of misery. Preferably an Arcolite. Afterwards, we heal ourselves. It's the last encounter. Might as well use our med kit. And let's get that thrall down. That was my fault. Nice, the Overwatch still worked. No more ammunition. Okay, we can still reach this guy, so what are we going to do? Can we take out the Codex? Yes, we can. Perfect. Thank you. That was exactly what we needed. Hostile is under arrest. Well, that's a pretty poor spot, my friend. You shouldn't be standing there. We're healing back up. As you can see, thanks to our regular use of healing, uh, we're still full. There is no line of sight though. But that's not a problem. Hmm. You know what, as preparation for the next round, well, it's over, ready move over here. We want to kill the Codex anyways. Reinforcements are coming. Extract our squad, okay. Um, pretty much walked into the wrong direction. I was remembering it a bit differently, but we're going to be fine. So let's just take out one of them, perfect. And we're basically moving over here, taking an overwatch as part of the movement. I totally like uh, the ever vigilant ability. I'm very happy that I've uh, chosen it. I'm out already. Terminal is in a bad spot, so since she could flee during the next round, let's put her out of here. And we're going to head for full cover. into the midst of the shroud. Her eyes 
our liquid darkness. Yeah, luckily we no moved out. Remains. I think that was the right decision. Should have probably moved here and taken a subdue hit on the Arcolite. That would have been the optimal use of our time. Everyone takes some hits, but I think we're going to be fine overall. Let's just get out of here. Good. I think we were missing one unconscious person. That should be the 20 intel for sure. And we just need to extract our last operative and then we're fine. Burn through that ammo. Good. There we go. Everyone was uh, wounded, and oh, well, I was wrong. We captured 11 enemies, so that was more than enough for the 20 extra intel. Good one. Okay, minus two unrest, 30 credits, 30 Illyrium, and 20 intel. It was a pretty, pretty damn good mission. Okay, choose the next operation. Investigate hybrid abductions. With a dark event, the Prodigy's message is reaching further, recruiting more Arcolites and even sorcerers to her cause. Or the Prodigy has intensified uh, the initiation rites for Thralls, resulting in greater damage endurance. Well, both of them are shit, but I would say we're rather going with the Thralls. Nice, we got another promotion ready. Good, so he is now a special agent, which is great, and we got uh, the Null Lance, also um, called the Lance Pistol. The short, uh, short ignores line of sight, unaffected by cover, and has a three turns cooldown. Really, really strong ability. Uh, in Senior Agent, we can even further upgrade it, so I like it. And his aim progression is superb. We're already at almost uh, 100 aim thanks to our weapon modification. So that's great. Training is almost done. Once we're done with basic conditioning, uh, Blue Blood will be the next one in training. And boy, boy, we got a lot of uh, resources to spare. Let's take a look at the city. Tech of an unfamiliar design. None of this came from Advent. Track down the source of this tech. We need to know how they're using it. Good. So nine days um, until uh, we can find her. Um, and we got another off-day uh, mission. Either we're going for Intel 40 or 30 Illyrium, which is a lot, or we are contacting the Black Market. I still don't want to go uh, to the Black Market, to be honest. So I'm probably going for Illyrium again over Intel. We will need it for our research. Once we finally get someone who can help us with the research, it will be needed. So it's piling up right now, but believe me, we will need it very, very soon. And then everyone will be happy that we have enough Valerium. So um, 
I think we're going to go with the crime scene here. We can't really establish another field op center. So let's go. The leader of the progeny is a woman who calls herself Violet. No last name, no known origin. We now know why they're called the progeny. She induced the psionics of each and every member. The sheer psionic power required is alarming. Consider Violet extremely dangerous. I know her. When Advent forced psionics upon me, there were others. Many others. And she was one of them? I never trained with her. Before I escaped, I reached out to her telepathically. And? Her mind kept repeating that. I think it was a poem. I didn't recognize it. We'll see if that helps narrow down who she was before Advent turned her into this. Great. So, we got our training completed. So, I have this rash. Cool. Does it look like a face? And we're going to use Blue Blood uh, this time. He already has the second training. Um, the um, Not the basic conditioning, but the unlocked potential. Uh, we're not going to go for that yet. We first of all need the hit points. So there we go. Basic conditioning for him. We got enough intel and we're continuing to grind intel because I think that that's really a very solid tactic for the start. Good. In terms of our team, we got cherry, um, we got uh, cherub back, so that's a pretty solid team. And uh, once blue blood is uh, trained, I think that we can run our normal team again. I'll probably uh, continue training him twice so that we get all of the training done whilst we're leveling everyone up, which is not a bad idea. Um, the other option is that Shelter gets basic training as well, uh, so that he ups his hit points a bit. Um, since we haven't opted to research um, armor yet, the basic training really kind of substitutes for that. On the city map, let's take a look what we want to do next. Lots of days, so we probably will go with the uh, field test uh, over here which is going to be minus 2, um, unrest 30 um, uh, credits, that's not bad. Alternatively, we could go to here, end of the line, but that's only 55. Um, I don't know, we can't really stop anything yet, so... Either way, no matter what we're going to do, one of uh, these areas will drown in unrest. Next turn we can use Vigilance though in order to reduce it. And if we build um, a field team here, Vigilance would reduce it to uh, 3 again. This here could be an option, uh, but it's not as... Nah. It's very clear we want to pre, um, we want to continue uh, the mission here and just keep the anarchy level really low. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a team here uh, to get technology. Perfect. We're down to 15 intel again, unfortunately. So as soon as we do have 80, we can build the last field team. Which uh, then means we can also decrease potential anarchy if something pops up. Not that I think it would, but it's a very handy, um, a very handy option for us. Yeah, and I think this is all we can do. Uh, we really need to do the prevent the field test mission. But that's going to happen in the next run. As always, guys, um, this brings us to the end of our episode. I enjoyed playing it, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. So leave a comment and a like down below, and tell me a little bit about your first impressions of Chimera Squad. Um, see you in the next mission. Bye-bye.